Hello and welcome back to another episode of my Leicester City Save on Football Manager 2022. Today we face Atletico Madrid in the Champions League and Chelsea in the Premier League as things are hotting up. In the last episode we played Galatasaray winning 2-0. Goals from Matthias Ginter and Dominic Oberardi, both summer signings proving to be pretty good so far. We then lost to Manchester City, however. James Madison did not quite save the day, <sighs> despite getting a consolation goal there. Losing 2-1, not a great result. And I believe I said something like, I should have let Andrea Bellotti go back to Philadelphia Union. I was wrong. I should have let him go to Colorado Rapids so he can emulate the great Jamie Smith and win the MLS Cup. I jest, I jest. He scored against Zenit in a 5-0 win. Likewise, Madison at the double. He's absolutely brilliant. It turns out the key to our success, I have realised too late. Barnes and Sayunchu also on the score sheet there. And he, Bellotti scored again, and so did Madison against Tottenham. We went 1-0 down, immediately pegged them back, and I changed the system, and we went on to win the game. You'll see that system later on in the game against Chelsea, but, oh boy... We've already qualified from our group against Atletico, so this game is meaningless, basically. Atletico will try and win it to try and sneak in. We're rotating, and I'm showing you because it might be funny. Yep, you've seen the team. Well, Danny Ward's in goals, Justin and Castagna. Zagadu, that's fine so far. Thomas, that's okay. Kamara's in. Yep, we've got this fella, I've showed you him before, the Romanian, Marius Avram. He is worth a load of money, goodness me. 17 years old, the game means nothing. Let's play him, why not? Alongside Sammy Bray, Bray Brook. Bray Brook, I was going to say Bray Brook. I got there in the end. He also looks pretty good, to be fair. 18 years of age, so a young centre mid pairing. Perisic back in, Vardy and Aaron Ramsey starting out wide. We've also got this fella on the bench, Martin Taylor, worth a bit of money too. Little bit of potential, only 16 years old. Will Alves, number 77, looks okay. And also, Terrell Pennant, Terrell, Terrell Pennant, no relation to Jermaine as far as I'm aware. 16 Flair could be quite exciting to come off the bench. Be as well just giving them a chance. There's literally no point in us playing a strong team and risking injuries. Oh, let's have a look at this scary strong Atletico Madrid side, though. <laughs> and oh boy, that it is. I mean, Xiao Felix, Xiao, we beat them 1-0 in the last game, don't be scared Callum, they do have Thomas Lamar and Luis Suarez, as well as Benjamin Pavard on the bench, but let's just not think about that, okay, good idea, I've got faith in them, uh, there's some youngsters in there, so let's make them feel welcome, they do, they're motivated, more than could be said for Dan Axel, Zaga Dudu and Robin Gersons in the last episode, livid, shouldn't have worn this jumper, also livid about that, it's roasting, but we're underway in Madrid, I'm not expecting anything from this game. Anything at all would be a nice little bonus, but it should be entertaining one way or another. And the first highlight is Atletico Madrid's, it would seem. Kieran Trippier on the right-hand side, combining with Hector Herrera. I'd just like to see what the young lads can do. I'm going to unzip this. I'm boiling. Ro if it, oh, that is too, calm, too, cool, too cool, calm and collected, unlike me, for my liking there, as they whack the bar. But Ryan Carrasco with a throw-in in his own half. Hmm... 20 minutes or so gone so far, and we've not conceded despite playing probably the, one of the worst sides we could have played. Um, I wanted to get more youngsters involved, but they couldn't for registration reasons, etc. We've who've, That was chaotic, as uh, Carrasco collects Ramsey's loose head out there, and uh, they've got such a good team, oh God, above. Get, hopefully Morata gets sent off, that would be fantastic. Don't take him around, well, Alvaro, he's played quite well in my Newcastle save, but he's scored there. I hate him! Forget what I said. I hate his guts. I'm, I'm pissed off. Get it together. You don't believe me, do you? But they are 1-0 up. 20 minutes gone. To be expected, the game doesn't mean anything to us. Don't know. I just want to reiterate that. So if we get a beating, I should not care. And it's not embarrassing in any way, shape or form. Okay, you got that home. Thank you very much. Nice finish from Murata. 1-0 down. Meh. Who cares? I'm sure the travelling Leicester City fans would definitely care, having gone all this way, but... Unlucky. Sorry, pussy man Dan. And just before half time, Atletico have another highlight, it would seem. If we could have any sort of highlight, I should maybe have changed the tactics to be a little bit more defensive and things. Look after the ball. We're still trying to play the exact same way, but who cares? It's too late now. As they are just playing, those two are just keeping the ball between them. They've decided to share it. It's headed clear, and Jamie. 
How shame you've already not got there. I know he's aging a little bit, but he had all the time in the world. As Zagadu heads clear, and Braybrook is tiny, it turns out. But he's found Jamie Vardy. What a ball that was. Jamie Vardy threw on goal, and it's saved easily by Jan Black. Brilliant. That's just what we want. Head towards halftime. We actually had a chance, which is probably more than I thought we'd have at this stage. They're well on top. They're happy. I don't care. It's all okay. Sorry, I promise you, the game against Chelsea will be huge, so stay tuned for that as the second half gets underway. As things stand, they are going above Galatasaray. Not sure what the score is in the other game. Can't be bothered checking, but there you go. Ooh, you're hard, showing off. Less than half an hour to go, and even Petrosic is still somehow the worst player on the park. This has to go down as one of the worst signings I've done, um, and, and not only in this save, but in the saves at all that I've done on YouTube. So Terrell Pennant is going to come on. I'll get the other two young lads involved at some point too. Why not, essentially? Probably just in five minutes or so. Yeah, I'm going to keep speaking. I'm going to keep... Why is Lamar wearing black? Why? There's like three of them just wearing black there. Football manager, sort it out, please. I was complaining about the Leicester City kit in the last episode, and you've taken it too far by just letting them play in whatever they like, their pyjamas, perhaps. I, I, I wish I could play football in my pyjamas. I don't even play football. Record videos in my pyjamas. I mean, I, I don't suppose anyone would really care. Uh, that was terrible from James Justin. Carrasco, uh, that is unfair. That's cheating. We should be awarded the three points here as they put the ball in and Luis Suarez has come on to score. Brilliant. That's good, isn't it? Just what you want. Oh, well, less than 20 minutes to go. We'll just get the other two youngsters on now. Because I don't really care. Uh, leave Bubakar Kamara on because he could do as much football as possible. Let's not get Dan Axel Zagadou sent off. So, Martin Taylor will come on. What would he want to do? This seems like a lie. But okay, whatever. And Will Alves as well. Uh, we'll just take off... Bray books he's got a lower potential somewhat uh, still time to get something to see a highlight who knows I doubt it however unless we're going to concede another goal which we might do having just given the wall the wall away there the ball away there as Atletico look for a third against this young inexperienced slash terrible what the hell was that Leicester City side is what I was going to say that sum sums us up actually it wasn't related but what the hell is that Leicester City side has basically been us this season so far and I've not quite worked it out maybe with this new tactic I said I was going to stop messing about and tweaking things and let us get some cons consistency but that's not happened whatsoever as Galatasaray are now going through as it stands that's quite funny unlucky Atletico not so big now are we playing against the young kids of Leicester get it right up yes Ramsey that was atrocious. Goodness me. You're not playing against Chelsea, that's for sure. However, Kasper Schmeichel will, along with Matthias Ginter, Fafana and Soyuncu. Dess and Gersens have been pushed up into the midfield with Kondogbia and Madison, Olmo, on the bench. Belotti, Barnes and Barari, the front three. We've got two pressing forwards. You may see that not there. You won't see it anyway. We're pressing much higher up the park and much more often. Getting stuck in. Counter press when we lose the ball. Everything. A lot more positive. Let's see if we can get some. We've got good options off the bench. The reason being we're going with this is because it worked against Tottenham. I am aware that this, however, is Chelsea. And they, as you can see, are a lot better than Tottenham. But it's worth a try. Anyway, we are currently level on points with the Blues Aston Villa in that top four, which is mental going into the break, going in uh, ahead of the Qatari World Cup. Man City and Man U up there as well. We need this win. It is absolutely huge. It is colossal. But we've got options off the bench. We will probably revert to something more familiar after we find out this doesn't work and it was just a one-off against Tottenham. But stay tuned to find out. Mm hmm Yes. And I do look at that Chelsea side and think, maybe this isn't the game to experiment with Callum. Yeah, they're good. They have not got any weaker and they've added Alexander Isaac, who caused problems for us against, no, for Real Sociedad, rather. And yeah, with him able to get in behind Lukaku, playing a high defensive line, maybe he seems stupid, but I'm not going to change it now because I'm stubborn and I'll probably regret it. So, I mean, regret not changing it, that is. Let's get things underway. At the King Power, we need this. It is absolutely massive. They are uh, somewhat not really similar to us at all. They've got three centre-backs. That's literally the only similarity they have. 
We started okay, it would seem, uh, on top in terms of possession, equal in sort of creating chances, and we're no longer equal in creating chances. Forget I said that, but nothing as of yet. But Norwich are 1-0 up against Manchester City. I don't know whether we seem to be nullifying Chelsea or what, but we've not seen anything so far whatsoever, not even a Chelsea highlight, as we head in towards half-time. This might be good for maybe not losing the big games, but we're not creating anything. However, I'm not going to change too much. I might put Madison onto our advanced playmaker. I know that is huge, a huge difference. But just to see if we can create a little bit more, because so far, absolutely nada of note. And with 20 minutes to go, we've still seen nothing. I've had to actually check that we are on key highlights. Everything as, is as it normally should be. So we're going to make some changes, but what I don't know. Maybe the front three aren't really involved too much, but it seems to be limiting them, I guess. Maybe pressing them back. We might take off Harvey Barnes, perhaps, for Jamie Vardy and swap him for Berardi. See, as he's the advanced uh, forward, a little bit quicker probably than the other two. That's a total guess. I'm not really sure. Definitely quicker than Jamie Vardy these days. Gerson's playing well, a bit knackered though. Sergino Dest is maybe going to come off. And Danny Olmo will maybe be able to do a job out there. We're going to give him more slightly more attacking duty as well. Get him up and involved and see what happens. What's going on here? This is not the camera angle I'm used to. As they've given the ball away. Is this just because we were changing things? Probably. However, we will find out. We've actually kept the ball, which is not like... That. That's all we've seen so far. It's good to know they are out there, so that's something. Okay. Ho -ho. We're in. We've waited long enough for this. It's been terribly, terribly boring. But Jamie Vardy on the ball. He's got... We created a goal in the last episode uh, uh, by doing that. And we've... What the hell is wrong with y'all? You ain't that damn good. Stop acting like it. Play together. Play team ball. Figure it out. Stop being an average defensive Are you team. Inspired? The only thing we've seen, I got excited, and it's a Chelsea goal with 15 minutes to go. Probably too high defensively there, um, but we shouldn't have given it away so cheaply. We committed bodies forward. Still three of us. I mean, Ginter. I mean, we're maybe looking at a new centre-back in January there. That was awful. Um, Schmeichel, no chance. A great finish, Lukaku. I don't know what to do now. We're not going to tell him to focus the ball out wide anymore. We're not going to tell the folks in the middle either. Just, you know, it's whatever's there. We're taking them in. Maybe the fact that the players were so far apart. Uh, we had them on the wide attacking width and we still had the shorter passing on. Maybe that's affected things in terms of not creating. I don't know. We're going to bump it up to attacking too. Gerson's on our attack duty. We've got two deep lying forwards now on either side of Jamie Vardy and Ndidi's coming on. A bit more energy in the middle as for... Kondogbia, who's retired, retired? He's not retired midway through a game. That would be a bit extreme. He's tired. Almost ball in. Fafana! What a goal! We will take that all day long. We've pegged them back immediately. A great ball in from Danny Olmo. His near post corners still work. Look at him. He didn't even attack the near post. He was just lurking there. None of them pick him up. And a fantastic header from Wesley Fafana. He was brilliant last season. And that was brilliant too. We'll encourage them. Take a point probably at this stage. Or another goal from a set piece. Almo in. Oh god. It's three versus two. Get back there. Please, Wilfred Indeedy. Um this is not welcome at all. Not that was rubbish. So you calm down! Oh, what is that? Just on Okay, okay. Right. Is that the end of the highlights? What's gonna happen here? Is there gonna be a late winger? Winger? Win There's two wingers on the park. We know that. A late winner at the King Power. NDD in so much space. And Gerson's bombing forward. We've got men in the middle. Can he find one of them? He does. Jimmy Vardy! What a goal that is! Jimmy Vardy! What a goal that is! It was, wasn't a great goal. That seems a bit, a bit extreme. But a fantastic goal. And hopefully the winner too. And okay, paying dividends. I told you this formation works. Gersens, what a ball that was. And um, it was teasing. A little bit teasing. And Mendy did not do enough. Jamie Vardy on hand. Pause it before the end of the highlight. Defending. That's what we need to do now. We don't do that much, really. We've put on all of the park the bus tactics. We're dropping the defensive line deeper. We're slowing the pace down, regrouping when we lose the ball. Everything like that. Hmm, yes, we're wasting time. A narrow attack, and we're back to this. We basically pin pinned back everyone as far as they can go there. Ginter at fullback, Gerson's two, and Didi protecting the back four. Olmo and Madison just on support duties. Likewise, Vardy and Berardi, and... 
that rhymes. And Belotti, a deep lying forward on attack. Still the only attack duty with five minutes to go. Yes, proceed. As things stand, we are top of the league right now. I didn't expect that. Goodness me, I thought things were going to be a disaster. As we head in towards the end of added time. And what a win that is. I told you, you better have stayed tuned for this. Let me tell you that. Man of the match performance from substitute Jamie Vardy. Fantastic there. Almo came on, got an assist. For Fana's header, fantastic. We scored two goals despite having an XG of less than one. It's worked. The tactic works. Let me tell you that. Although I did a little bit of tweaking, but that's more genius on my part. Everyone's delighted. I'm delighted. I hope you're delighted at home. If you are, leave a like on the video as we head in towards the long break before the Qatari World Cup and goodness me I need a lie down this jumper and those lights and recording and shouting and getting excited about Jamie Vardy just is not good for me at all Whew! we will be back we've got friendlies apparently goodness me I didn't know that um, we'll be back after that big long break with probably games against Arsenal and Manchester United that seems like a good spot we'll hopefully have some transfer business by then let me know in the comments down below where you think we should improve as I said maybe defender and perhaps another attacking option I might sell Ivan Perisic but who knows leave a like if you've enjoyed this video and you're excited for the bottom at Christmas save that is about to start very very soon subscribe with notifications on if you've not done so already so you know when the next episode of this goes live and the bottom at Christmas save goes live you don't want to miss it thanks very much for coming along I need to lie down. Take care.